Hello. <clears throat> in this short demo, I would like to show you a form in 115 and uh, typical provisioning workflow of Pixie booting a Debian 9 system uh, with a simple puppet configuration. So first of all, we'll create a new host, we'll initiate the uh, installation, we'll take some time and I will head over back to the form and user interface and we can uh, take a look how things are set up. So we'll create a new host here. We'll give a, a form automatically gives it a random name. So I will select organization location. And I prepared uh, what's called host group, which sets things up for me. So I don't need to fill all the information, things like Puppet Master, Puppet CA, uh, some uh, Puppet classes I will be um, applying uh, on the interface page. Uh, I need to make sure though there is a MAC address uh, associated correctly. And yeah, it's ABC1. Operating system is all set. Uh, I need to select um, uh, root password. And now we can head over to uh, my uh, system and boot it from uh, from from the network. So we'll just wait a few seconds. Uh, in order to let the Debian installer to come up and start installing and then we'll go back to the form and user interface and we can walk through the whole process of setting things up. So as you can see, it's loading up. So let's return back. So the first thing, first thing we need to set up are the provisioning templates. Um, Fullman has a very capable um, provisioning templates rendering system, which is um, based on ERB. For Debian-based distributions, we're interested in pre-seed um, templates. So the first one we need to look for is Pixie Linux template. That one is used to render uh, a Pixie Linux template that goes to a TFTP server, which is, you know, together with DHCP, it, it is used to boot up uh, the, uh, the installer. As you can see, it's uh, there are a couple of, uh, you know, parameters there which are not interesting. The most interesting part is here. Kernel and append line uh, are the uh, things um, that will be then rendered. We need to make sure that this is associated with operating system. Uh, we we are, we will be using, or we, we were using actually, nine one Debian. Second one uh, to look for is provisioning template. That's the recipe, if you if you if you will, uh, to to the installer for the Red Hat systems. That, that this one is called Kickstart. For Debian, this is called uh, Precede. As you can see, it is, again, it's highly parameterized. So depending on if you enable or disable, you know, salt, puppets, uh, and other stuff, um, and symbol, um, it is, you know, installing those uh, packages, enabling our visitors. And there are um, things like host parameters, so we can set, for example, Um, various aspects you can you know fine tune for each individual host. Again, association needs to be set to Debian. And the third one, which is uh, interesting or important to set, is Pre-CD default finish. And this is um, kind of a snippet or shell script that is downloaded at the end of the installation and executed. As you can see, it's setting up uh, remote execution keys. If you uh, enable that, Chef, Puppet, or Souls, uh, depending on your configuration. Uh, and again, uh, association to the Debian system. Second thing we need to check for is installation media. 
by default format ships with a couple of uh, installation medias. These are just URLs. In our case, we'll be using Debian Mirror, which is just an URL to um, a site that holds, you know, all the necessary metadata and packages. I'm installing directly from internet. Hopefully, this won't break. We can, of course, do a Mirror if you, if you if you want. Now. Uh, we need an operating system entry. So here we I've, I've created a Debian 9.1. So it's a Debian system 9.1 uh, description Debian 9.1 family Debian, and we associate this associated this with architecture of x86-64. You need to select the partition table, which is pre default. Pre default. I'll visit that uh, page in a minute. That's just a recipe for the installer how to do a partitioning. Installation media is the Debian mirror and templates we associated all of these templates here so we can we need to select these as uh, the templates <coughs> templates which will be used for this particular uh, operating system. Uh, so partition table is just a special kind of a generic template so uh, we have a pre-seed default so again it's, this is a part of the bin installer recipe that does the partitioning. So before we start, we need to understand the uh, concept of smart proxies. So for every single form and deployment is at least one smart proxy, you know, and by default, we install a smart proxy on the same host. You can deploy uh, as many smart proxies as you want for each individual data center or remote site or, or cloud. So we'll be using the pre-installed uh, pre-installed smart proxy, which is installed on the same host. We just need to be sure that the DHCP, TFTP, uh, and POP services are enabled there. So you can see these three uh, components are uh, also smart proxy plugins are enabled. Now we need to uh, have a subnet defined. So we, we ref I've created a subnet called subnet underscore 99, doesn't really matter. And it's uh, this uh, network, it has a this network address, prefix, network mask, gateway, and uh, DNS server are all set. We do support, you know, DHCP management, so we we're format is able to talk to a DHCP. Uh, in this case, it is ISC DHCP, but it can also do internal DB uh, IP allocation if if that's needed. We need to give it a range of IP addresses. This will be used when allocating a new IP address for a host. We need to set a DHCP proxy. And TFTP proxy. I only use one proxy, so I need to make sure this is selected. You can also select the uh, reverse DNS and the domain in, uh, in order to have a domain name created in a DNS. So this is uh, done um, in infrastructure, infrastructure domains. We'll be using prov.lan domain and th this DNS proxy that will be used. So when you create a new host, it will have a valid TFTP record, uh, DHCP record, and DNS record. A DNS is not needed for, you know, uh, provisioning to, you know, to be performed, but uh, it's a nice uh, thing to have. Now we'll be using Puppet. So let's go to Puppet uh, classes. So first of all, you have a Puppet master installed. Again, former installer is able to set up your Puppet master on the same host that the foreman, you know, is installed on. In our case, that's so just one uh, smart proxy here uh, that has Puppet feature. And I can click on import environments. This will actually fill this table with a uh, all the classes that has been detected on in that uh, environment, and we'll be using NTP. 
So let's click on that and uh, see smart class parameter there. So we have a couple of uh, couple of parameters. Uh, this is highly you know customizable uh, puppet class. We are only interested in servers. So I've gave it some description and now this one, this one is important. Override flag is selected. Key type is a um, um, type of uh, an array. And there is a default value there. Um, so I'll cancel. So you would, you know, override as many as uh, puppet parameters as you want. Now, when we were creating a new host, you were selecting a host group. These host groups are configured in the configure host group section. And it, what they do is, this is a nested concept. Uh, this is a concept of nested host groups. Basically, these are uh, parameters that will be pre-filled to uh, individual hosts or hosts. So I've created uh, this, uh, this host group of name Debian 9 with NTP. We have a puppet environment set, so puppet master, puppet CA. We pre-selected NTP and STD standard library. We're using a domain of provision LAN and subnet 99. And will be this particular host group will be installing x86-64 Debian 9 from the uh, media Debian mirror with partition table pre default, pixie loader, pixie BIOS, uh, pixie Linux BIOS. You can, for UFI systems, you can select from Grub2, UFI, Secure Boot, but we'll leave that on a pixie Linux BIOS for now. And as you can see, the NTP servers parameters is available here, so you can override this value, but we won't do that for now. So let me just visit uh, our all hosts page. And let's le review this. So as you can see, the build status is still it's pending installation. So the system is being installed. You know, it is finishing the installation. So let's quickly uh, see uh, one interesting thing uh, you know, in the context of provisioning, and that is a uh, templates previews so we can preview the temp pixie Linux template so we will see what actually uh, is the being deployed on the tftp server so when dhcp kicks in and hands over this tftp server it, uh, the, the dhcp client or tf pixie client actually uh, on intel downloads this and as you can see it has this url here so this pre recipe or pre template will be used so we can go back and uh, review provisioning uh, template so this is this is you know uh, the uh, kickstart sorry not kickstart but in the debian world that is pre-seed so this is you know recipe for pre-seed how to in install this and at the end of the um, uh, FreeC template, we are um, uh, downloading what's called finish template and executing that. It's a shell script. So finish template is review. And the finish template in our case, because we have enabled Puppet, we only have Puppet, it is um, installing Puppet. And then it's also, you know, for each individual Nick network art, it is setting up network art. Foreman allows you to do uh, things like bones or VLANs, so yeah, it can help you with configuring that. And at the very end of the installation, we are informing that this system has been built, so it will exit the build state. So as you can see, this system is booting up now, just in time. So it has been finished. Foreman has been uh, informed that this uh, system is, you know, done with installation and flips the TFTP configuration back to normal, meaning that it will boot from uh, the first hard drive. So I will, I will um, 
login and by default uh, puppet will kick in every um, so it is on a background so puppet is currently uh, working on so let's just wait Okay, so finally we can see um, this system um, with uh, some uh, 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 one or two puppet reports now. So as you can see, we have some graphs that is showing you uh, how much time was spent, uh, how many resources have you know was applied or failed. So first of all, we can go to facts. So we can see the this host has these individual facts. So as we can see, kernel version of this kernel version is uh, 3.10. We have a, a nice uh, charting library included, so you can I think, do things like that. You can easily fact name is, let's say, architecture so we can easily find architecture and things like that, right? This page is also via, available via, via monitor, monitor facts. Now let me go back to this host and we also have reports. So this host applied report two minutes ago Uh, there was no change there. So this is how a typical puppet report looks like. So you can see a lot of you know in log messages there. So now let's make a change for this host. And Let's edit it and let's, for example, let's change the parameter here and override it. And let's change this to three, number three, and submit. Now I'm going to run the Puppet agent and we'll change the server configuration in the NTP dot conf so uh, we will see a new report coming in and as you can see that one uh, resource was applied and we can easily show the div here so as you can see performance is very good in you know configuration change management and that's about it uh, this is the end of my uh, short demo uh, this is how you know a progening uh, of a debian system looks like with puppets uh, thanks for watching.